Greetings, Special Centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Lorim. We are still in Riften, and I've done a whole bunch of stuff in between episodes, namely fishing. I managed to get the fishing to work. I wasn't doing anything wrong, just for some reason, those two fishing spots down on the Riften wharfs were bugged, and uh, yeah, they weren't working. But I found a couple of other fishing spots around Riften and was able to do some fishing. So I found a whole bunch of stuff, including uh, the juvenile mud crab that we needed for the quest. So we're going to go and hand that in in just a moment. The bounty quest. I was also able to find a um, grand soul gem with the grand soul in it somehow. God knows how that came up. But that's going to fetch us a pretty penny at the market. So we're going to go and sell that. Uh, I also came across in my travels a thieves cache inside of which were four lockpicks so hopefully those four lockpicks will be enough to trigger the um trigger bridge on at the market to give us the quest to start the thieves guild and then finally on my journeys i came across this lady here who is the lady i was looking for earlier down uh who gives us the dagger to return to white run i what believe might you be looking at have you come to laugh at the grave tender? Yeah, it is her. You tend the graveyard. If you're trying to ask if I tend the Hall of the Dead alone, then the answer is yes. You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? Guess again. Leave the dirty work to old Alessandra. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. How's your father to blame for your my job? My father was a priest of Arche. All my life was spent around the dead, being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. I never had any friends. Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? So I grew up with a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. Why do you think I should laugh? would laugh at you? How can you make peace with your father? I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun and give my ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. I can bring it for you. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. I appreciate your help. Yeah, baby. Here, I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders and he'll take care of the rest. That I can do, no problem. Be cautious. Oh, I also happen to be over-encumbered from all the stuff I found, so... It's going to be a slow and long journey to the shop, but I thought now would be a good time to start the recording because I found that lady and I wanted everyone to be clued in as to what was going on in terms of content. So we're going to avoid the market just in case Brynjolf comes and talks to us when we're over-encumbered and we literally can't go and do the mission he wants. We're going to go all the way around, although I'm going to check my inventory and drop off some stuff here. How over-encumbered are we? We're literally over-encumbered by one. Oh, and I realize these bottles don't do anything. These empty bottles do absolutely naught, so we're going to store them. I also found a silver goblet when I was fishing, so that's awesome. Um, so the empty vials, it does. It, it turns out you do need empty vials to do alchemy and you can buy them from the alchemy store down there. I went in at the end of the last episode after I'd finished streaming, had a look at what they had for sale and he does have vials for sale, for sale in there. The problem is they cost 20 gold each to buy an empty file and when you make a potion, I've made a potion of health. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome to the pond prawn. What can I do? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. So I've made a potion of fortify health, as you can see here. Uh, it only sells for five gold, so you can't make loads of potions and sell them. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Oh, we also fished up an iron war axe, which is a bit better than the dagger, but weighs a lot more, so we're just going to sell it. We fished up a bunch of arrows. They're not worth anything. We're going to keep them on us. Just for in case we find a bow at some point. Uh, I found a potion of invisibility in a thief's case. So that can go. Brook bass can go. Carps can go. 
Salmon fillets can go. Eight of them. Salmon can go. Slaughterfish can go. Jug of milk. Carrots. Leeks. Tomatoes. Dragon's tongue. I need a juvenile mud crab. Nightshade can all go. Salt, we've got 13. We can sell 10 of them. Clothes irons can all go. Silver goblet can go. Spigot can go. Tankards can go. Firewood can go. Troll skull, we found two of them. They're worth fucking 10 each. Nice. The brooms can go. The lanterns. Oh, how come he's buying this stuff now and didn't buy them earlier? The Grand Soul Gem will sell for 309 chat. That's definitely worth it at this point in the game. It's not worth keeping for enchanting later. For one thing, we can't enchant. We're not allowed to. Uh, Bronan has no idea how to utilize magic. That includes chanting. The only thing Bronan can do is recharge his magic items. But by the time we get a magic item, we're not going to be able to... Um, we're not going to need Soul Gem. So, yeah. We are going to um, sell it for a shitload of money. So now we've got a thousand. Good day. Which is awesome. Hopefully now we can go to the market as well because we've got the lockpicks. And it will trigger Brijon to come and tell us to do the whole Thieves Guild thing. Let's find out. Oh, no, he's not doing it. Hmm? Until next we meet, lad. I don't like the fact that it's not triggering. I don't know why it's not triggering. That's quite concerning. It might be a glitch in the game, in which case we're not going to be able to access the Thieves' Guild, which is going to really suck, because that was going to be my primary method for um, securing gold. Obviously, it's a huge chunk of the great game. It's like 20% of the game, the Thieves' Guild. And on top of that, it was going to be the way that I was going to make most of my money in the early game when we're not very strong to go adventuring. Not really strong enough to go out adventuring. So if that's not triggering, I don't really know what to do. I'm not sure why it's not triggering. It's very strange. Anyway, let's go hand in this mud crab um, bounty. See what we get for it. Mud crabs are fascinating creatures, don't you think? Yeah, something like that. Here you go. I managed to find a juvenile mud crab for you to study. Here you go. Look at this. Hmm. Interesting. Some kind of claw? I wonder what it's used for. Probably feeding. Here, this is the key to the fishery. Nice. Drop by our master angler at least. He could show you a few tricks. A hundred gold. I'll take that. A citizen of Skyrim has asked for our help. You're headed to Falkree. Think you can handle it? Here, it's all in this note. Take a look. All right then. Bounty and glass fish. So a single glass fish is needed for a potion that a client has requested. I cannot leave my shop unattended during the daylight hours. So I have no choice but to request that someone else acquire this fish for me. Please see me at my establishment, Grave Concoctions in Falkreath. Once you have the glass fish, a reward of 100 gold will be granted, plus an additional reward for anyone who might be for any who might be willing to s assume more work regarding a private matter. Zaria, okay, that's good. The Riften Fishery is locked for some reason. I don't know why. I've got the key though, baby. I wonder if it's locked because there's no one. <gasps> we can take all this salmon chat. I think it's locked because there's no one in here. But I'm going to take all this salmon while no one's in here. Doesn't really matter because this salmon's free, apparently. So much salmon chat. Things for your workers to do. Let them do the work. That's what you pay them for. 
Ugh. Sounds like someone's having disagreements. Oh, damn it, I was going to steal. I was totally going to open that lockbox. Or try to. Can't do that now that there's loads of people in here. Oh, that's so she's given me the key to the fishery. We're now friends, which is why I can take all this stuff. Before it was stealing. Now it's not stealing to take all this stuff. Because we've become acquaintances or whatever, or close enough that... Uh, close enough that it doesn't count as stealing, basically. To take all this stuff, which is awesome, because I'm going to help myself to everything in the fishery. Uh, and then we'll go and sell it and make a bit more money. I've already done that. Blood bucket. Potion of blood. Awesome. Might be able to sell that. So much stuff just lying around unwanted chats. Going to waste. We don't waste a thing. We don't waste a thing. Bronan the adventurer. Warrior without fear needs and takes all. Broom, yes please. Okay, I think that's literally everything in the fishery that isn't nailed down. Oh, we can take these fishing rods as well. Were there more fishing rods somewhere? Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, there's a knife. Iron dagger of the blessed. There was something else as well. Was that the rag? I think that was the rag. Nice, we picked up an iron dagger. Anything else up? Oh, I, know, I missed these. Take all this stuff. Take that. Take all this. Are you out of your mind? Maramal's been helping me through a rough patch. I just wanted to pay him back. It's not like he's keeping it. Uh huh. I'm sure That's literally everything in the Rift and Fishery not nailed down, taken. So oh, what, what's this? Come Can we take on. this? Maybe my wife, but this is my business. So just do your job. Don't worry, we still have plenty of gold left over to waste on things. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. I'm not looking for a handout, lady. I'm looking for free shit I can take. Suppose I could and sell. Of which there's plenty here. Hmm. Okay. I'm good. Let's get out of here. Let's go sell everything we just picked up. What does the Dagger of the Blessed do? I think it summon, unsummons uh, undead or dismisses undead or something. Find out when we sell it. Pawn Prawn. You think the Pawn Prawn would have lockpicks to well, sell, but... Back to the prawn. Let me Welcome to the Pond Prawn. What have you got for Take sale? A look. Iron Dagger of the Blessed. Yeah, Undead Flea. Eh, we'll sell that. I don't care about that. Damage 15. Yeah, we'll sell that. Fishing rods can all be sold. We've got 809 gold. Very good. Potion of Bloods. Yeah. 
bread, cheese, cheese, roasted carp, roasted salmon fillets, brook bass, salmon fillets, 118 worth, yep, clam, the wine, the black briar mead, the fish we found in the barrel, mud crab chitin, river betty, salt, we'll sell 15 of them, silver side perch, slaughter fish scales, charcoal, roll of paper, tankards, wooden plate, broom, lantern, nice, we've got like 1400 gold now chat. What does he have to sell then, in terms of, does he have lockpicks? Basic camping supplies. Okay. No, he doesn't. I wonder if you can craft um, lockpicks. Let's see if we can buy a bow. No, he didn't have a bow. Fishing hat. Cool. He doesn't have much. I want to see if I can buy a bow All from right. somewhere and then we can go hunting as well. If we buy arrows and bows and arrows, we can go hunting as well as fishing. And that will improve the amount of uh, revenue we get in general. Do you have bows and arrows? Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Yeah, something like that. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Looking for a bow. Here we go. A long bow. Fucking hell. Nord heavy bow. 400. Arrows are 7 gold apiece. Jeez, do you have lock fix? No. Wonder if we can craft lockpicks. Remember, picks. nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge workbench. Armor. No, that's an armor workbench. What about here? Using the blacksmith forge. Weapons and armor misc. Cooking pot. No, no lockpicks. Maybe you need like a, a craft. Sell one of your. Huh. And Brynjolf is just not doing his thing. I don't know why. It's weird. It's really frustrating because it's not going to trigger the Thieves Guild. And that's a huge portion of the game and a massive amount of income. Right, well, since that's not working, we can't do anything else in Riften. Uh, I say we head to Whiterun. See what we can do there. See what we can get accomplished with our... Uh, we might be able to craft some lockpicks. We might be able to... There's a couple of free missions. Not free missions, but... Missions you can do within the city that will get us a bit more money. And then we can use that to buy a bow and arrow. And then go hunting around the outside. And then maybe a bit of armor. Craft some leather armor with the hides that we get from... Um, from hunting. I'm really enjoying this start, guys. I have to be honest. It's really tough. Really, really tough. You have to really think about what you need to do. The game just doesn't give you a load of free shit like it does in Vanilla Skyrim. Where you come out of Helgen and it just gives you armor and weapons and food and money and gems and soul gems and everything you need to get going. You need to really think about what you need to do next and how to progress. And progress is really difficult and slow. 
everything you do feels like an achievement. Like just feeding yourself and obtaining enough money to go to sleep somewhere feels really good. Right, so obtaining glassfish for Zarya and Falkyrie. We need to do that. Talk to Fastred. Oh, that's, that's an Ivastar. Ghost and the Ratway. Simi Blackbriar we won't be able to do because we can't get into the dungeon. Can't do that yet. Can't do that about that's in Markarth. Travel to Helgen. Broken Tower Redoubt. Fear the Draugr. Okay. We can do that. That's in White Run. Okay, that's not on. Okay, so it's literally just the dagger. We can do that though. Let's get a white run. The carriage is the safest way to travel. It is. I like to hire Where a carriage. Do you want to go? I want to go to White Run, please. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Take me straight to White Run. Could stop at Ro Riverwood, actually. I don't know if Riverwood would give me a bunch of stuff. If there'd be anything in Riverwood to do. Let's go to Riverwood and we can travel to White Run from Riverwood. Uh, let's go to White Run. We can travel to Riverwood from White Run actually. Back and we'll be off. White Run's safer. A safer bet for finding stuff that needs doing. Oh, I need to get rid of that Mark of Debella mission. Well, that's going to piss me off. Obtain the Mark of Debella from. You can't do that. He's too. He's too powerful, chat. He's not. Does not fear Bronan the adventurer. For some reason, look how look how tough we look. That's annoying. A thief showed up just as just as we climbed onto the wagon. There was some combat going on there. We could have looted the body. Oh well, it's too late. It's gone. We've gone. We leave Riften just as. It gets attacked by something and we could have looted the body because the guards would have dealt with it. That's frustrating. Oh well. You are cold. So I wonder if... Um, I wonder if the giant is being killed at the moment. Wouldn't wander here alone. Come on. Yeah, it is. There it is. I was about to help. I was coming to help people. I know I didn't do anything, but I swear I was going to help. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. Can I join the companions? You don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Codlack if you think you have what it takes to be a companion. Where can I find Codlack? You'll most likely find him in his quarters in your Vasker. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Okay, is that Until a no? Next time. That doesn't sound like a no. Chat. Chat, we can harvest potatoes without it 
Why can we harvest potatoes? Surely that counts as stealing. Well, we're going to harvest all the potatoes then. Maybe it's because we helped fell the giant. Does that mean there's wheat around here that we can take as well? Anything else we can take? All those potatoes will sell pretty nicely in the market. Shit, it's pretty laggy. No wonder. Look at the fucking sky chat. Look at that. That is glorious. Absolutely gorgeous. Takes a lot to run this game and record it at the same time. My computer's using a lot of CPU at the moment. Still worth it. I'm having an absolute blast chat. Even though we did a lot of this that we've already done in the Nolvus mod pack. I'm really liking the start in this one. The Nolvus mod pack was a bit ridiculous. We had so many followers so quickly. By Izmir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Loria's farm. Fool had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. Well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthgar. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? Thought did cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, have now jesters. Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out there. A riot in Helgen. We should go check that out. I love riots. But yeah, the uh, the Nolvis playthrough was just a bit ridiculous. Like, we had four followers within the first, like, hour of us playing the game. Uh, on top of that, we just... Stuff just got given to you. Like, there were just items everywhere. Like, powerful weapons and helmets and armor and stuff like that. All over the place. You could just find... Ridiculous. We almost had like 100,000 gold right at the start, basically. So it was just proving to be too ridiculously easy and not really interesting enough for me to carry on playing compared to this playthrough, which is already a lot more challenging and a lot more realistic, I think, is a good way of putting it. A lot more immersive. We made it into White Run chat. Yes. Ronan like White Run. What's going on with all the um I think we'll it's pay whatever it takes. It's messed we up must the have floor. More swords for the imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Oh, it's not it's not loading properly. I might need to save and quit. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's storm cloak. Besides, great. Drop a save and uh, reset the game. It would never make Quit to menu. And uh, we'll reload it and hope that everything's in order because it seems to be messing up the graphics at the moment quite substantially. Take a couple of minutes, chat, but it's probably worth it. But yeah, the Nolvus mod pack was cool, but it, it introduced me to the Lorim mod pack and the concept of introducing and playing with mods. But it was just a bit silly. The amount of followers we had, the amount of gold we had, the amount of... Um, equipment we had for everyone all of our followers were super geared out and they were all doing everything for me and I was just running around not really doing anything a whole bunch so I wasn't really enjoying it I didn't feel like I was contributing that much I was meant to be the hero of the realm but all of these NPCs were just doing all the combat for us and everything for us so I just wasn't enjoying it that much in the end uh, this one seems a lot better a lot more balanced as well with the um, With the difficulty, with the combat, with the damage scaling, it seems a lot more balanced, a lot better. 
So yeah, I can see us going long on this playthrough, guys. As long as we can get the Thieves Guild working. Oh, we might be stuck in the infinite load. Yeah, I think we're stuck on the infinite load. Gl I think it glitched at some point. Something must have failed to load properly. Like one of the graphical um, textures failed to load properly. And that's caused a massive issue. Because it's not loading. It's just crashed. It's got the loading icon in the bottom right. But it's not actually loading. How are we doing on time? Mm, still got 25 minutes left of the episode. It's probably worth control or deleting. Yeah, we're stuck on the infinite load screen. Control or delete. Task manager. Okay, we're out of Skyrim. Let it finish doing what it was doing. Open the mods. Yeah, there you go. It was crashed. Okay, now we run the mod pack again. There we go. Now it's loaded. Everything seems to be in order. Everything's okay. We click run again. Now it's going to take like 10 minutes to load up again, unfortunately, guys. But c'est la vie. Now would be a good time to go and get any refreshments. If you want to get any refreshments, go to the loo, grab yourself a drink, do anything you got to do. And yeah, we'll be right back in a few minutes with some more Lorem. In the downtime, whilst there's nothing going on, I want to give a huge shout out to all the new viewers and subscribers of the channel, especially all the new members. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means the world to me. I say it time and time again but i'm being completely honest it's freaking awesome i never thought that my channel would have grown to as much as it has to as big as it has or be as popular as it is i never thought so many people would enjoy the content as much as they do and would be leaving such positive feedback letting me know what they enjoy about what we're playing and just encouraging me to carry on you guys are the lifeblood of youtube you're the ones who choose to watch the content and you're the reason that it makes that makes uh, content creation worthwhile. So thank you so much for choosing to hang out with me uh, and be here and watch the episode, guys. It really means the world to me. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Don't be don't forget to smash that like button if you are having a good time and you want to see some more Lorem. And be absolutely certain to subscribe if you're new here and if you haven't yet done so. So you can always be up to date with all the latest episodes and content that's coming out. Plus, it helps me out a huge deal. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and it helps spread the name of the Special Legion.
Okay, it should be a minute or so and we'll be loaded up. Then we can dive back into where we were. Hopefully everything will be stable and we can carry on in a white run. Look at that background chat. Look how gorgeous that is. Welcome back to Lorem, everyone. Right, we're going to continue from our last save game and hopefully it will load white run properly this time. I'll take the job. Okay. That seems to have loaded better than it was. Yeah, everything's looking good. Okie dokie. She's heading inside because it's late. Hello. Hello, Wong Ban. Okay, since it's now, what time is it? Fucking one in the morning. And there's no one around to pick up missions from. Let's go straight to the uh, companion's house. Whatever it's called, Jorvak or whatever. And uh, see if we can sign up with the companions. That will give us a bed we can sleep in. Jorvaskr. Jorvaskr. Come on now. Watch the footwork. Keep your balance. Hey, watch it. Yeah, you guys fight. Fight, 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 fight. That sounded like someone killed someone then. It sounded like a blood splatter. Jesus, chat. I haven't seen you before, have I? We met. You sound like you're drunk or high. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. A stranger comes to our hall. I would like to join the companions. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Ah, uh, I'm Brunan, the adventurer. A certain strength of spirit. Yeah, strength. You're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in Yorvaskar for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Yes, fire in my heart, fire in my loins. Perhaps this is I am Bronan, the adventurer. I've never even heard of this outsider. Nice, two-handed, I'll take that. to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? Don't call me boy, but I have much to learn. That's the spirit. Vilkis here will get started on that. Vilkis, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I... 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 Okay. Take up arms. Oh, you're an, you're, an, you're an enthusiastic one, aren't you? Heavy armor increased to 11. Well, we can't wear heavy armor, so whatever.
Oh, don't tell me you're stuck. Go that way. Well done. Well done. You did it. You went round him. Can I kill this pigeon? Will everyone get pissed off with me and attack me if I kill this pigeon? Let's find out. I suppose you have another question? So you're supposed to train me. No, don't worry about that. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Jorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. So what about my training? What? Okay. He's just like, nah, don't worry about your training. You're too shit. Just go be a little errand bitch. Take this up to thingy and get it sharpened. And hop to it. What brings you here? I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. That attitude would get you far, if you were some stuffy merchant or a Jarl's footstool. Around here, you'll want to learn to live your own life. Remember, nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, every woman her own. I have a favor to ask. I've been working on a shield for Aela. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aela for me. That's a good man. Tuh. Give me a hard time about being an errand boy and then get me to run an errand. Fucking prick. Fucking prick. Doesn't miss the irony, does he? Fucking prick. Uh, let's quest. Bring Ayla her shield. Is it? Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Okay. Yorvskar. Do I have somewhere I can sleep? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Actually, I'm not. I'm hungry. I just need to eat. Surprised I didn't get fatigued at all on the journey over. Hey, lady. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick. I don't need to hunt with you. Better. I don't want to hunt with you, okay? I know. Here's your shield. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Are you new here? I told you. This is the whelp that Vilkis mentioned. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't yeah, I did. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? I don't care for boasting. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Thank goodness, I'm, Marcus, rest, I'm exhausted. Come out. We know you're here. Did you call me? Of course you did, I friend. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, hello. I'm Farkas. Come, follow me. Okay, fart ass. <laughs> Go on then. Whoa, that's some shield you got there. And that is a massive Skior sword to use like one-handed. But they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new fate. Around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tell me we'll keep the place clean. She always has. Any point All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. Skior says that I have the strength of Ysgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. I'm looking for work. Does anybody need to talk We've lesson? We've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle right here in Whiterun Hold. I don't know what the fight is about. 
And that's not our business anyway. I just need you to go out there, look tough, and scare this milk drinker into submission. No more than that. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? I can intimidate. Sinmer Ironclad, yeah. Go. Bring honor to yourself and the companions. I'm looking for work. Do you need anyone killed? We've got trouble right here in Whiterun Hold. Nothing we can't handle. What kind of trouble should I Nothing expect? but a bunch of lonely bandits. Cowards who will take little effort. I can clear out Forgers Retreat in Whiterun. In Whiterun? What? Good. Do not spare them your blade. Trouble in Skyrim. Kill the leader of Forge's Retreat. I wonder where that is. Until next time. Let's take a look. Kill the leader of Forge's Retreat. Well, that's not in White Run. That's fucking miles away from White Run. Whatever. Okay, does this mean we can run around and take everything now? It does, chat. We can help ourselves to whatever we want in here now. This is crazy. So, yeah, you know what I'm going to be doing in between episodes. I'm going to be looting the place. I'm going to loot the shit out of this place, chat, and sell everything. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Uh, we're coming to the end of the episode. Let's go hand in the dagger, see if we can hand in the dagger, and uh, then yeah, between episodes I'll come back to here and I'm going to loot everything I can, nick everything that isn't nailed down, or well, not even nick, it's not nicking is it, like, help myself to everything that isn't nailed down, and then go and sell it all, look at all this stuff we can, yeah, take it all and sell it, can we take this, we can, oh my god, we finally got weapons chat. We finally got real weapons. I'm going to sell all this stuff and I'm going to... Oh my gosh, unbelievable. I can't believe you can take all this stuff. It seems a bit silly. That is what we need, chat. An iron greatsword. That is what we've been looking for. We just need some leather armor now and we're all set. Bronan the Adventurer rises! You can even take the gold off the table. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy chat. Look at all this. Man alive. We are going to be rolling in it. So yeah, I'm going to do that between episodes. And uh, yeah. Then we'll go from there. We've got to run around White Run, Pick up all the quests that need doing. And uh, It took me weeks to find that yeah. dead. I can't stop it. And I can't get the sword on my own. I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. Hello, friend. What were you two arguing my about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but... If you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. Yes, yes. Bronan tired. Bronan need to sit. Come on, Bronan, get up. I didn't tell you to sit. I told you to pick at the flowers. Alright chat, the time has come. We're a bit ahead of schedule, but I'm going to end the episode there. Uh, and I'm going to start looting the shit out of this place. Can I loot from up here, actually? Because there's loads of good stuff up here that I wanted. No. No, I can't take any of this stuff. This must be Skyforge steel. Oh, I can take this stuff. Don't take the plate. Why would you take the plate? Frailer's note.
Iron shield, nice. Iron helmet, even nicer. Iron battle axe. None of this is stealing, by the way, chat. This is just helping yourself. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. And like I said, in between episodes, I'm going to pillage everything I can from this place. Uh, and sell it. Sell it all. Because why not? We need the money. And uh, there's just money lying around everywhere here. There's money for the taking, literally. But thank you all so much for hanging out today, guys. I hugely appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it all as much as I've enjoyed playing. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Lorim, in which we're going to be infinitely wealthier than we are now. But yeah, guys, hopefully I'll see you all there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, so I'll wait till next time.